Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Dwarf Berry Dazzle Crepe Myrtle. This is the Dwarf Dark Pink or Fuchsia Red Colored Berry Dazzle Crepe Myrtle. Berry Dazzle is listed on most websites as getting three to four feet in height. It probably would end up five feet if you let it, but it would be very easy to keep this plant at three feet in height and three feet in width. Most of these dwarf dazzle crepe myrtles are listed on websites in zone six to 10. It's probably more accurate to say 6B to 10A. And in 6B, in a very tough winter, this thing would probably be killed to the ground. It would probably be root hardy though. It probably would come back. Being a dwarf, berry dazzle is definitely gonna grow much slower than traditional crepe myrtles. We may only get a foot of growth out of these in a season. That compares to two and three feet on the tree form crepe myrtles. Crepe myrtles are definitely sun loving plants. You wanna give these at least six hours of direct sun and they can take absolute all day full sun. This is a plant that can sit in open space all day long. There are actually a lot of uses for these dwarf crepe myrtles. They look fantastic mass planted and you can use a one that gets a little bit taller than this one behind it. There's one called a coma that's a white variety that gets about eight feet. It would look fantastic behind this. These look great on the corner of a foundation. A lot more uses for these dwarf crepe myrtles than the traditional ones. Of course, the primary feature on these berry dazzle crepe myrtles is these incredible flowers, which are persistent in June and July. Uh, it's actually a little bit darker than this. I made a mistake with this plant and put it in too much shade for about a week, and the flowers have faded quite a bit on me but it is a much darker color and it's almost a fuchsia purple color. This is a dwarf variety and which is very nice. It just doesn't require very much maintenance at all. It still has the nice red stems that the other crepe myrtles get. And it does have the exfoliating bark uh, at the bottom. Of course, you're just not gonna see that as much on a dwarf crepe myrtle because the limbs are gonna be much lower, but it does have all the traditional features of other types of crepe myrtles. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs. There's not a whole lot to worry about with crepe myrtles. They're really, really rugged plants. Just make sure you don't cover anything that wasn't covered when you purchase it and don't over mulch it. You know, make sure you can see the base of the plant where it goes into the ground. If you're in an area that gets regular rainfall, you're not gonna have to do a lot of ongoing watering on crepe myrtles once they're established. But when they're in peak bloom in the early summer, if they become dry, it will slow the flowering down. So that's a time of year you want to keep a close eye on them. I fertilize my crepe myrtles at the very end of the winter or the early spring, about the time they're going to leaf out with a slow release fertilizer, something that will last three to four months and be done. Because by midsummer, you want these to start to shut down and go dormant naturally into the fall. Not as much pruning to do on these dwarf crepe myrtles as there are on the standard ones. If you get a crazy limb on it, you can certainly take that off any time. You definitely want to clean them up in the winter. There's always some dead uh, pieces in the middle of them that can be cleaned up. If, if you need to take some height out of it in the late winter or very early spring would be the time to do that. You can really cut this thing in half. Just don't do it until winter is pretty much over. If your crepe myrtle's planted in open space in the sun and not in a very, very wet space, you're typically not going to get a lot of problems on them. They are susceptible to root rot. If they were planted in an area that stayed wet all the time, that could be an issue. Lots of things chew on them. We get Japanese beetles on them every year and I just don't care. They last about two weeks. They don't do enough damage to worry about. They are susceptible to aphids in the spring on the newest growth. And the aphids secrete a liquid onto the leaves. It makes the leaves sticky and then they, that material can mold and it's called sooty mold and turn the leaves black. In the summertime, it can be quite unattractive. So if you see aphids on them in the spring, it's something to monitor for. They'll be on the newest growth, a tiny little soft bodied insect that will be on the newest growth. You definitely wanna get those under control or you'll get a secondary problem later. Crepe myrtles are considered extremely deer resistant. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the extremely low maintenance, fuchsia red colored berry dazzle crepe myrtle. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment with any questions you have about crepe myrtles. Thanks again.